what a painful few days for the royal family, on Thursday, the Mail posted different pictures showing that Netflix had been filming outside the Alma Tunnel in Paris, wherein Diana died in a car crash, recreating her tragic very last moments in each ghoulish, detailed the horribly shocking death of one of the world's most iconic ladies, is being handled as amusement fodder for the masses, irrespective of how provoking it must be for the royals, then, later that same day, came the revealing of the title and cover of Prince Harry's memoir, due for release in January cruelly, he called it spare, with the clean message that he's been done down by his family, the king's spare son, cast aside, instead of the heir who takes the crown, before we continue you are welcome to Jerry Royal Channel, the publishers, which paid him £35 million for a four-book deal, say the tome will take his readers immediately back to one of the most searing photographs of the 20th century. Young boys, princes, walking behind their mother's coffin as the world watched in sorrow and horror forget the rubbish about the book's raw truth, unflinching honesty, insight, revelation, self-examination and tough received know-how about the everlasting power of love over grief, this is about hard cause hand, what about his brother William's agony his raw truth. He, too, walked at the back of their mother's coffin and, with Harry, left a bouquet of white flowers on it, alongside an envelope which bore the heartbreaking message, Mimidiana was mummy to them, both the distinction is that Harry is openly monetizing his grief, whilst William carries his silently and with dignity, like his dad, King Charles, and different members of his family, self-pitying, self-aggrandizing, geared up to promote his tale to the very best bidder, Harry has torn apart any relationship he may have still had with his brother and father, instead of embracing his new family and lifestyles in California, he is still raking over the past, the everlasting victim in the cold light of day, is there actually a great deal distinction between Netflix's ruthless exploitation of Diana's demise for profit and Prince Harry's for the cover of Spare, Harry selected a photograph of himself looking into the camera with a cold missionic stare and dare I say vengeful eyes, his balding head cropped, giving a ginger halo effect, if he's finally found peace, why does he look so damn miserable? Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, God bless you.